In today's video, I'll be showing you how to fix this. After we flush our toilet and it fills back up, it just keeps running and filling and filling non-stop. We had the same problem not too long ago, and replacing the flapper did it last time, but this time it's either a bad fill valve or the rubber seal on top of the fill valve is leaking by. Hopefully it's just the seal, because it's very cheap and it's super easy to replace. Let me show you how it's done. The first thing you want to do is shut the water off to the toilet. Usually it's just a quarter turn clockwise. And then go ahead and take the lid off and flush the toilet to get all the water out. That little rubber seal is right under this cap and the way to get to it is to take this cap off. So first we need to unclip this. This is the adjusting screw to adjust the water level, how full you want the tank to get. You just literally pull it right out and that snaps out. And then you grab the pipe underneath the cap, hold it in place and twist the cap counterclockwise just a little bit. And then you should be able to just pull it right off. So here's the little seal that we need to replace. Hopefully that's all that's causing the leak. Otherwise I'll have to get a new fill valve and I'll be showing you how to replace the fill valve as well. The little rubber seal comes out really easy. You literally just pluck it out. With time, it just deteriorates and maybe there's some mineral buildup on it. That's what causes water to leak by. There might be some mineral buildup in here as well. So what you could do is just take a little scrubby and just scrub the inside of it. And then you can also rinse it to get some of those mineral deposits out of there by simply putting a cup over it and turning the water back on slightly. So I'm going to put this cup right here and I'll turn the water back on just a little bit so you can see what I'm talking about. There you go. That should be enough of a flush. Here's the new seal compared to the old and it looks much better than this old one. So I'm going to go ahead and slide it on the stem or this little pin right here. Make sure it's fully seated. And now we just put the cap back on and check if we still have a leak. The way this cap locks on is with these little plastic tabs on the edges. They need to slide on over these notches over here. Put the cap back on the same way you took it off. So make sure it snaps on on top. There it goes. And then hold the pipe and do your little turn clockwise. There it is. And now we can open the water and see if the problem is solved. The toilet filled back up and unfortunately it looks like it's still slowly filling up. So what's going to happen is the water is going to get up to the pipe and it'll start to pour in and we're going to have that same running leak again. So it looks like I'll also be showing you how to replace the fill valve. To be continued. And I'm back. I got this from Walmart for about 11 bucks. It's a universal fill valve and you can get these just about anywhere. Target, Lowe's, Home Depot, Ace, or just order one on Amazon. This thing fits just about any toilet. And by the way, one thing I forgot to mention is when this started happening, another thing that started happening is whenever we turned on a faucet anywhere else, like in the kitchen or in a different bathroom, this toilet would start to whistle. That's a dead giveaway that that valve is starting to leak by and you need to replace it. But anyway, let's get this valve replaced and stop this. As usual, the first thing we're going to do is turn off the water. And a quick pro tip, if you're working on any plumbing anywhere, make sure you know where the main shutoff is. So that if a valve starts to leak or things go south for some reason, you're going to know where to shut the water off quickly to prevent any damage. Next, go ahead and flush the toilet to get the water out of the tank. There's going to be a little bit of water remaining in the tank. You can use a shop vac to vacuum it up or use a sponge or a towel to just get the rest of it. Once you get most of the water out, you can then proceed to take out the fill valve. First, I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the hose, the fill hose. You should be able to take this off by hand. I have the sponge under here because just a little bit of water does come out. 
if you can't take it off by hand, then you can go ahead and use a pair of pliers or channel locks to go ahead and get that off. Then there's one more piece that we need to take off and that's this locking nut right here. Go ahead and slide that off too. And now we can take out that old fill valve. And here's our new fill valve. It comes with a new clip and locking cap as well. So we're gonna go ahead and just replace all of that. And before you put this in and secure it, what I like to do is compare it to the old one and adjust the height so that it lines up. So as you can see, the old one is about an inch longer. So I'm gonna slide this ring up and then go ahead and pull this out a little bit to make it longer. And now they look about the same. So I'm gonna go ahead and lock that back in and we're ready to install this. And in order for this gasket to make a good seal, you wanna make sure that the opening is nice and clean. There's no debris or nothing in there. So I like to just wipe it down really good before putting that new valve in. Locking cap goes on first. And before I tighten that down real good, I wanna make sure that my port lines up. The new kit comes with a little fill tube that goes on this port right over here. And you want that to be facing this pipe right here, the overflow pipe. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide that on. And we can put our clip on the other end. And clip that on the pipe. You want the refill tube to line up right with the middle of the pipe here. And if this little hose is too long, you can always trim a little piece of it off as well. If it's getting in the way of the lid and the lid's not closing all the way, you can cut a little piece off. Once we know that everything up top is lined up, I can secure this all the way. And lastly, go ahead and hook this hose back up. Let's take one last look inside the tank to make sure that everything is lining up and nothing moved while we were tightening it. And it's looking pretty good. One more thing you wanna check is that this adjusting arm is not hitting the flush lever. So they're not getting in the way of each other. And this is looking pretty good. And we're ready to turn the water back on and fill this tank up. Once the tank fills up, go ahead and check your water level and make sure it's pretty full. For us, this is pretty good, but generally what you want is about half an inch from the top of the pipe. If you don't have enough water in your tank, then what you could do is just adjust the tank water level with this knob right here. Turning it clockwise will make the tank fill up more and turning it counterclockwise will make it fill up less. Mission accomplished. The tank is filled back up and it's not leaking back into the bowl. So let's just do one final test. Let's go ahead and flush it once. I'm happy to report that there is no more leak. Well guys, and that's all I had for you today. That is how I stopped the leak on my toilet and hopefully this video will help you stop the leak on yours. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. There are two very important reasons why you should not allow your pets to drink toilet water. Those reasons are number one and number two.